Russian rascals. Ugh. Oh, I brought it, mate. They've done it again. The white is war gaming. <laughs> What's up? My name is Jack Cypher. Today on Russian Rascals, we're going to be comparing the just released Centurion RAAC 5 1 Dingo. Lovely name there. And the T26 E4 Super Pershing, both tier 8 premium medium tanks of similar likeness. So, why are we comparing these? Well, these tanks, while very different, are also characteristically very similar. The similarities lie between the 190 Alpha gun and the amazing armor that these things do have. Now, while they are very separate when it comes to speed and flexibility, they are very similar in other aspects. So first, let's talk about the Centurion. Centurion has absolutely beautiful armor, just like the Super Pershing, with a mantlet of over 400 millimeters of effective armor and around 300 effective millimeters of armor on the whole. Uh, geez, my words are not working today. Anyways, so this thing is an absolute beast when going into a hold down scenario. Now where it will not work is kind of on flat terrain. Now while this is not a hold down scenario, it actually worked very, very well for me. We are able to farm up quite a bit of damage in this game and while it was nothing stunning it was still pretty good now let's talk about the gun the gun has absolutely beautiful penetration at sitting some of the best numbers of its tier with only a really low alpha of 190 it's still really good sitting around like 2200 dpm with a 4.9 second reload while running uh the i'm running uh a gun rammer. I don't run calibrated often. Uh, I'm very opposite of droodles. But anyways, so the gun works very, very well, but because it is lower on the DPM spectrum, you might get smacked by some higher DPM tanks. Bramble, what are you doing on the desk? My cat is playing around on the window in the desk behind the monitor. Anyways, so this tank overall is super solid. It's not one of the best tanks that you can get your hands on I purchased just purchased it in the 15k bundle just because to me this is a novelty tank this is a tank I've been wanting for a while and I had the gold lying around I was like you know what let's do it so all in all a really good bundle the price is absolutely atrocious though you can get tier 10s in store for the same price that you can get this tier 8 but really is the tank worth it I I kind of think so I mean if you're kind of tight on pennies go for the 12.5k bundle but as you can see an overall solid tank works positions really well and while we didn't exactly go in the hold down sort of brawling scenario we did brawl out very very well so that's kind of what i wanted you to see now on to the eh, american gadget part happy fourth of july by the way uh this is the t2064 super pershing and this is this tank and I do not agree very often. This tank only goes upwards of 25 to 30 kilometers per hour, generically averaging at 23 kilometers per hour from what I've seen mostly. This tank, while it does boast decent armor, it does not compare to the Dingo, in my opinion. While the upper plate is, in fact, thicker, the armor on the turret is actually worse due to the fact that it's just spaced plates in front of a very weak turret. So if you just know those sneaky cheeky spots that you can aim your gun, you're easily going to be able to pin this thing. I mean, it's a joke. Honestly, now if you're new to the game, this is going to be a nightmare to fight. I remember fighting this thing when I was just starting the game, and it was like, what on earth? This thing is so broken. But if you look just above the turret you can see those cheeks in that cupola very very weak spot you can even hit some spots under the turret ring very weak but still an overall solid tank now the differences between these two tanks is this tank has around the same dpm but it also does not boast the same penetration so we can kind of start to see the similarities and the differences where while this is similar in some aspects to the centurion it's also worse in the other aspects to the Centurion. So, I would honestly, even though this is being sold for 5,500 gold, which honestly, kind of spendy, but kind of not spendy at the same time compared to the Centurion, this tank actually performs pretty well in battle, 
but if you're comparing prices you can definitely see which is the newer and better version of this tank this has been one of, this is one of the oldest oldest premiums in the game which is understandable how power crept it has become now, as you can see penetration not working very well and not very very well right there but one of the biggest issues with this gun compared to the Centurion is the Centurion has one of the greatest aim times. Not the most amazing dispersion, but still really good dispersion. Now the difference between this thing is the dispersion on this is one of the worst in the medium classes with only subpar aim time. That is very, very difficult to work in scenarios like this where I could have penned that shot in the side of the motion but instead we shot the two inch thick rail of the boat that is a major issue also another big weakness that the Centurion does not exactly withhold is this thing has massive track wheels and they're easily penned if you just angle a bit while the side armor of the Centurion actually counterparts that where generically you can just angle just a teeny tiny smidge and you don't have to worry about getting penned in the tracks so overall these two tanks really really solid players i like both of them but i definitely would prefer the australian tank a lot more so in my opinion both deals are definitely worth it i would say if you're a collector i would go for the dingo but otherwise just wait for it to come into the store at a cheaper price it's honestly gonna be so much more worth it then if you had any comments Thoughts, feelings, love letters, hate mail, hit me up in the comments below or check me out in the Discord. Link is in the description below. Go check out the Rascal Squad and all those plebble, plebbles. Yes, the plebbles over there, the fruity plebbles. Go check out those plebs over there on the other channel and let's bump up the subscriber count. But otherwise, one and all, ladies and gentlemen, subs, grubs, and all you mobile scouts in between, I am the Rapping Rascal. <laughs> I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.